Shalom, beloved. A word. There are certain questions and um, discussion that I want to address quickly, thoroughly, as best spirit gives it to me. But the first thing that I need to say before I begin is let's keep one thing in mind. I do not have all the answers, although there are certain among us who are asking certain questions. There are certain people who have identified as Christian who have come in saying that they love the Hebrew. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even also, even as also I am known. I'm going to say it again. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. This word that the Most High gave me was for the house, is for the house of Yahshua. There is an argument which I will not have. I'm simply addressing something to clear it up. Two questions were asked. The first question, or the first statement, was about the Hebrew and Christians. The Hebrew and Christians. Okay. Many people have this conversation about the replacement theory, the replacement theory, okay? That somehow it doesn't matter anymore whether you're a Hebrew or a, a, a European Christian or this kind of Christian or that kind of Christian. But nowhere did Yah get rid of Israel. I was going to go into the book of Jeremiah, the book of Isaiah, to discuss how Yah says, if the sun and the moon stops their ordinance, then Yasharel will stop being a nation before me. Are there other nations amongst Yasharel? Yes, there will be. And I'm talking after we leave. Yes, there will be. They're called strangers. Gentiles. And Yah tells us how to treat the strangers among us. And to remember that we ourselves were strangers in Egypt. But does that take away Israel from being a nation? No, it does not. Many of those same nations that Yasharel took the word to actually tried to remove Yasharel from being a nation, stating that Christianity was for all as though uh, Yasharel had stopped existing. They even used the argument that Yasharel were part of Yahshua's death. They don't want to speak about the fact that the followers of Yeshua were all Hebrew. All of them. All of them. Okay? As were the apostles and writers of the New Testament. They were Hebrews. They were Hebrews. Beloved. And actually this so-called church was born among the Hebrews in Jerusalem. 
when you look at how the word was spreading, they were meeting in what Europeans would call temples. Okay, these words, they did a word play. Okay. They they when they translated the Bible, they did word plays. Word plays. Okay. One of the things they did just to bring to add insult to injury, just so we can I'm just gonna cover this. When the Romans sat Jerusalem, Judea, when they sacked it, one of the people, Hadrian, he changed the name of Judea to Palestine, to Palestine, naming it, in fact, after Yasharel's old enemy, the Philistines. The origin of the word Palestine, Hadrian, after the Romans sacked Jerusalem, named it Palestine. But I don't want to keep splitting hairs. They think that there's no difference. And yes, the 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 word of Yah says, in the spirit there is neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, bond nor free. In the spirit. But you see, when you meet the individual, some of these same-said Christians will say, well, I'm Irish, I'm Italian, I'm English. You're not in the spirit when you're identifying your nation. Yasharel in the flesh are Hebrew. They're Hebrew. Now, we know about those who are in um, Jerusalem now. They are Ashkenazis. They are Khazars. They are not true Hebrew. They took on the practice of the religion, but they do not, beloved, carry the national bloodline. As a matter of fact, when you look in the Bible, Ashkenaz was a descendant of Jephthah, of Jephthah, okay, the son of Noah, not the line of Shem, of Jephthah, beloved. Yes, yes. He was a descendant. You look in Genesis. At the descendants of Jephthah, and you will find Ashkenaz. When you look at the Khazars, they were coming out of Eastern Europe and Russia, the Caucasus Mountain, and they were practicing the religion of Judaism, as they called it. Now, I don't want to stay on this too long. Many people who have oppressed, murdered, robbed, plundered Yasharel, they also ask the question, why are you speaking so roughly they, they, they about what is going to happen to Yasharel's enemies when God, when Yah brings judgment? Well, see, this is indicative of the fact that those who say they love Hebrew and that we're all the same, beloved. You, I don't know what Bible or scripture you're reading. I don't know if you feel as though when one group of people do evil, they get a path, whereby the other doesn't. Yasharel would not even be among the heathen, the strangers. Were it not for the fact that Yah's word came to pass, he will not be mocked. You reap what you sow. He told Yasharel in Deuteronomy chapter 28, if you follow the law, statutes, and command 
these blessings shall come upon you. If you don't, these curses shall follow. And the curses did follow. But once that 400 years was up, he would judge those nations who had abused and murdered Yasharet. Now, those same said nations want to know why they're trying to figure out how they get out of it. While still, even as they speak, knowing their people are murdering Yasharel right here, not only in America, all over the world, robbing them, looting, plundering them, lawless towards them. Even when the lawless ones report what they have done, they don't tell the whole truth. What do I mean? The sedition, the treason that went on at the Capitol. When they reported it, they did not report it complete because they did not want to show the truth of what type of people they really were in that Capitol siege that day. See, the people didn't just storm the building. They didn't just throw up nooses and hang gallows and break in looking to kill. Uh -uh. They literally took poops on the floor, on desks. They smeared their poop and feces on the walls. They pisseth, pissed. In multiple places. These are the type of people who thought themselves righteous enough to take governance. This is the character of who went in. But they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. But they want to know why can't they get past. And this is not from man. This is from Yah. Book of Isaiah. Chapter 14, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Yasharel. Yasharel. Will there be other nations among Yasharel? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Those are the ones that survive the wrath of Yah. Those will be the survivors. You see, there are some people who are wolves in sheep clothing. They're under the belief that if I pretend to be your friend, I can get in and you'll never know what's in my heart. Yah has eyes that see everything. He has ears that hear the inner thoughts of man. Nothing is hidden from him. He knows. You can slide in in sheep's clothes with evil intent. But it will not prosper because Yah know. And he will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Yah gave Yasharev their own land. He gave it to them forever. Hmm. Forever. You see, beloved man, thinking he had so much power. Hmm. They did something called the Balfour Declaration. They did something called the Balfour Declaration, assuming they could usurp the word of the Most High. The Balfour Declaration. All right. It was a public statement issued by the British government in 1917 during the First World War announcing support for the establishment of of a national home for Jewish people, Ashkenazis, Khazars, those who say they are Jews and are not beloved. This Balfour Declaration. No, that declaration did not come from the mouth of Yah. This Balfour Declaration. Mm. It was issued by the British government in 1917 during the First World War announcing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. In Palestine. How did Palestine get its name? Remember, these disrespects, they go back. They keep going back. They have a, a lineage of theft. Be it even to the point of removing the name Judea 
Hadrian did it. And changing the name to Palestine, an insult to Yasharel, because it was actually a name honoring the Philistines, Yasharel's enemy, okay? When we talk about the term Christian, Christian, which was a name first called to the people in Antioch, when the Hebrews came into Antioch to spread the word. Actually, it was meant to be an insult. It was meant, initially, in some cases, it was known as followers of the way. What way? Yes, sure. But it was also derisive, mocking, and contemptuous. It was ridiculed. It referred to the followers of Yeshua who did not acknowledge the emperor of Rome. But you have a lot of individuals now who, they, they, they believe in this replacement theology that Yasharel, no, this isn't about Yasharel anymore. It's everybody, everybody. No, beloved. No. See, the book of Romans chapter 11 tells you, or tells them, that even if you're a wild branch and you're grafted in, do not become puffed up against the natural branches that may have been broken off. Because if he could bring in a wild branch who wasn't from that tree, how easy would it be to bring in a natural branch and graft it in again? But this is showing in some cases they really not even grafted in, if they think this replacement theology stands. How do you say it doesn't matter? It's everybody, everybody. Well, when you look at it, because I'm, I'm bouncing right now, if that replacement theology is true, if it's true, how is it that, since it's everybody, everybody, Yah said Israel would rule, and they would have their own governor. No, not a foreigner. Not a foreigner. Mm -mm. You can be a follower of the faith, but you cannot rule. That's part of the curse. If you don't believe, all you have to do is look at the world around you. The strangers are ruling and the world has gone to hell. Hmm. It doesn't matter whether you talk about the pollution. It doesn't matter whether you talk about the suffering of man, the suffering of animals. Even the earth is crying out, moaning and groaning to be released. Because those in position now ruling, the atmosphere is filled with negativity. If you look at the television and the news, you hear all it is. Everything is based on fear, but there's no fear when you're under Yahuwah. They just, every day they spew it, spew it, spew it, low vibrations. But you see, beloved, the universe is balancing out now. It's too much negativity. It's too much destruction. Okay, too much suffering. But to go back and answer the question, and I know I, I may sound like I'm bouncing. If that replacement theology were true, if, which we all know it's not, the gates that lead to the new Jerusalem, the love. Wouldn't one gate be named Timothy McSweeney or something on that level or, or uh, Hop Singh on another? All the gates are still under the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes of Yashara, the names of the gate. But you have those who say it doesn't matter. When that thousand year rule happens, beloved. The 144,000 that helped 
govern with Yeshua for that thousand years. There are 12,000 from each tribe of Yashara. So that replacement theory does not line up with the word of Yah. It was only when the Hebrews took the word to those pagan societies that they decided to excommunicate the Hebrews as though they didn't matter anymore and make it as though this new word Christianity was the new religion. You could already see the heathenistic approach coming up. So when you come and you say you are a Christian and you love the Hebrew, but yet you question, why are you saying that we're going to go into slavery? You should know why if you know the word of the Most High. It's not my word. It's his word. And you know the evil that was done. You also know, y'all will not be mocked. You read what you have sown. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14. I'm going to start at the first verse and read until it is done. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will choose and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, not amidst enemies who want to rob, loot, and plunder, not amidst enemies who want to come with them to continue this evil under the guise of a sheep when they're really wolves. Because if they were sheep, they would understand. Why? And set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined to them, so there shall be strangers. But those strangers shall be Submitting to Yah and what Yah said. And they shall cling to the house of Jacob. And the people, who's the people? The house of Yasharel shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Yasharel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants. Yeah, that's that slavery. For servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. See, one of the other things, beloved, and I think this needs to be brought out. Many of the wolves in sheep's clothing who are looking at this. You think that Yasharel thinks with the mind of a barbarian. Yasharel can only do those things that Yah allowed. They do not behave in the same heathenistic, inhumane fashion of the people who took them. Those people who still mean Yasharel evil, Yah's going to destroy them. They're not even going to make it in. They, 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 they won't be a problem with it. I got to be there putting up with it. No, you don't. He will bless those who bless Yasharel. Curse those who curse Yasharel. So those that mean evil will never make it in anyway. So that's not even a problem. It's going to get to the point that the other nations start clinging to Yasharel. It says in the book of Zechariah, 10 people will cling to one Israelite because they know Yah is with them. Okay? I'm in verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up a proverb against the king of Babylon. Mm. And say, how hath the oppressor ceased? Mm. Woo, so. The golden city ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke is still going on. They have no intention in stopping. But Yah's in it now. 
Now they want to know, well, wait a minute. Uh, uh, maybe it don't have to be so bad. I want to know where was all this concern when it was happening to us. It's still going on. It's still going on. Mm. He that ruled the nations in anger. In anger. Do you see anger? When you see people who are supposed to support the law to serve and protect people, brutalizing them. Have you seen people sit in presidential seats telling the same people who are supposed to serve and protect to brutalize them? Mm. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Mm -mm, everybody going to step back. Oh, now it's your turn. Mm. And the whole earth is going to be at rest and is quiet. And they break forth into singing, beloved. But we haven't gotten there yet. We're getting there. See, one of the things we also recognize so that it isn't taken out of context. So that isn't taken out of context is there will also be two thirds of Israel, of Yasharel, that will not make it. Mm, no. They too are going to fall into destruction because they reject the word of the Most High. Yes, yes, this isn't a one sided thing. He's doing a cleanup. The, the universe is balancing itself. How do we know? Mm. Why does we, do we need that cleanup? Second Timothy starting at chapter 3. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. How do we know that? We, we, we see it. All the time. You you have some people run around here, take eight, nine, ten selfies a day. Lovers of their own self. That's just one example. Covetous. They want what you have. Didn't work for it. Never thought about it. But you got it. I want it. And if you don't give it to me, I'll steal it. Beat you over the head. Take it. Boasters, mm. proud, blasphemers. In these days right now, they blaspheme against the most high. Mm -hmm. Disobedient to parents. You have parents that have raised their children to be to feel as though they have a right to say and do whatever they want. They are disrespectful to their parents, unthankful, unholy. And then they go out and do it to the older people among them. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. So when you are doing the, the will of the Most High, you actually run into people who despise you because you're doing what's right. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Mm, mm. One of the other things, beloved, is Yah told Israel not to marry those other nations. Not to marry those other nations. Mm. I'm still in... Second Timothy, I'm in the third chapter. I'm going back and forth. They have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses. You have commercial where all they want to show you is you see an Israelite, a Hebrew. And he, all of a sudden, they just proliferating. Why? Because they know it will cause you to break the law and the order of the Most High God. That's why. 
And he, they also know it will cause Yasharel to turn away. To turn away. Solomon did it when he had those strange wives. I did not tell you to go and get them. Be they male or female. Mm -mm. From this, for of this search sort, Are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin, led away with diver lust, ever learning, and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth? Mm. I'm going to go back up for a minute. Having a form of godliness. Mm. But denying the power thereof. Oh, it don't matter if you do that. It's all right. It's different now. But what did Yah say? I am the Lord. I change it not. Mm. But denying, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such. Turn away. Turn away. So those who want to believe this replacement theology, those who forward this Yasharel isn't a nation anymore, from such. Turn away. Those who say we can intermarry, it's okay now. The Lord don't mind. He don't care if man marry man, woman marry woman. They've been given over to strong delusion from such. Turn away. From such, if they will not hear the truth, and be careful, beloved, because we are in perilous time. We're in perilous time. Okay? Mm. Now, as Janice and John Braves withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. They resist it. They argue with you. They don't argue with them. Mm -mm. Men of corrupt mind. See, the minds are corrupt. Okay? They worship the creature more than the creator. And they were given over to strong delusion from such. Turn away. Turn away, beloved. Mm. Reprobate concerning the faith. Mm. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, amidst other places. To go down and to find and to finish, yea, and all that will live godly in Yeshua, Hamashiach shall suffer persecution. Yes, they will. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So you gotta watch. You gotta watch, beloved. You have to watch. You have to watch and pray. Because remember, you are the sheep of his pasture, and his sheep know his voice. What's his voice? The word of the Most High. And you have that spirit of discernment upon you. Yasharel, the nation, is. No, not because some bow for declaration talking about Khazars and Ashkenazi. Yahoo is doing this. You be encouraged. Again, there were certain questions. And no, I'm not going to go into a negative tilt. But I do go into the truth. And if you ask me certain things and I don't know them now, we see through a glass darkly. So do I have all the answers? I have only that which y'all revealed. You be encouraged, beloved. Shalom.